Hello everyone and welcome to the first game that finished from round 2 of this year's Norway Chess Tournament. Uh, Magnus and Wesley, uh, the classical game ended in a draw. It was, a, it was a, you know, an okay game, the Berlin defense and uh, not a lot was happening there. So of course players uh, called it a draw and they went into Armageddon. Uh, this is Armageddon and it's uh, quite a wild game. Pieces will be sacrificed, the king will be hunted. So let's see uh, what happened here. Uh, in the Armageddon, uh, or the player with the white pieces has 10, 10 minutes on the clock. The player with the black pieces has 7 minutes on the clock. But of course, white has to win. If it's a draw, uh, then black uh, uh, wins the encounter. So Magnus has the white pieces and he opens with e4. Sorry about that. Uh, they will uh, have a repetition, uh, sort of a repetition for a few moves of what happened in their classical game. Pawn to e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, and bishop to b5, which is kind of nice as you also get to see what happened in the classical game. Knight to f6, Wesley went for the Berlin defense, d3, bishop to c5, and now uh, the trade. Captures, captures on c6, we have castles, and now... Uh, we often say that uh, you can play this many different ways as the e5 pawn is hanging. You can defend it with queen to e7. You can play knight to d7 to defend the pawn. You can play bishop to g4 uh, or bishop to d6. Those are the fourth, uh, uh, the four mo most common moves that you will see. Uh, and uh, Wesley goes for uh, uh, bishop to d6. So, okay, Magnus goes for bishop to g5. In the, in the classical knight to d2 was played, which is the most common move. But here Magnus plays bishop to g5. And there are uh, but a few games where this move was played. It's uh, actually a favorite continuation of Alireza Firuja. He played it uh, three times in top level chess uh, with uh, mixed results. Uh, by that I mean one loss, one draw, uh, and one win. Uh, and by some other very strong players. So here we have pawn to h6, bishop to h4, and queen to e7 now. And in the game that I mentioned, Alireza did play this against Hikaru Nakamura in the 2020 uh, uh, St. Louis Blitz tournament where knight to d2 was played, knight b to d2 was played. Uh, but here we have pawn to d4, uh, Magnus immediately immediately strikes in the center and it is now as of move nine that we have a completely new game uh, which is uh, you know it's like a party uh, considering this is the Berlin defense. Uh, so bishop to g4, uh, developing, uh, also pinning the knight, making uh, Carlsen waste some time thinking about what happens if, if the pawn is captured, can knight b to d2 be played? Uh, and Magnus says, yep, uh, you can have your pawn. So here we have knight b to d2, but Wesley castles first, and now rook to e1. We have pawn to g5, uh, bishop to g3, and now knight to h5. Putting pressure on the bishop here, it is a very strong piece, so uh, Wesley wants to take care of it, uh, uh, mess up uh, Magnus's pawn structure in front of the king, and then advance those pawns and open up the uh, the king so c3 and now e captures on d4 and you have to uh, decide do you want to go for something like captures and queen to a4 or do you want to trade on d6 first and both uh, both ideas are nice for example if bishop captures queen captures you're going to play queen to a4 now put pressure on the a7 pawn but it doesn't matter just d captures on c3 and you don't care about a7 you're winning a lot of material here so you have to recapture uh, and then bishop captures on f3, knight captures, and queen to c5 takes care of the a7 problem, and the black is just better here. So that's one way to do it. Another one is what uh, happened in the game is c captures on d4, but it also comes with um, a, a, a really awesome, uh, well, at least an exchange sacrifice, but maybe more. Uh, Wesley plays bishop to b4. Of course, he doesn't allow the queen to jump to a4 because then you just uh, capture on f3 and the knight cannot move. Uh, but interestingly, that's exactly what Magnus place so, or, or rather you should play something like uh, let's say pawn to a3 then uh, you you would have to decide what to do probably bishop captures on f3 first g captures and okay uh, you will uh, uh, have messed up your pawn structure but magnus goes for something even uh, more wild queen to a4 right away and now he says all right wesley are you are you game and wesley says i am down uh with this uh, i i have no problem in playing this bishop captures on f3 uh knight captures on f3 it's definitely the best move and now bishop captures on e1 but now magnus does not recapture on e1 he plays queen captures on a7 and now the idea of course is you get the knight to e5 cover the d7 square and deliver queen to a8 checkmate so can wesley defend this yes he can and he does it um, uh, beautifully he plays queen to b4 now how does this exactly stop the checkmate well the idea is that if magnus goes knight to e5 now the bishop and the queen are on the same diagonal so now queen to a5 stops checkmate and black is just better uh, so Magnus goes uh, uh, rook captures on e1 first, uh, and now knight captures on g3. You might think, but why not g4? It attacks the, the knight, which is defending the rook on e1. 
The problem is you will kick the queen away from this diagonal. Pawn to a3 and after the queen moves, okay, you will trade queens, let's say captures, captures, now play knight e5. It's a very unclear position. Okay, objectively, uh, black is better, but it's Armageddon. Black already has um, uh, less time on the clock and it's just a, a, a very weird position to have. Uh, so instead, uh, knight captures on g3 was played by Wesley, and now h captures on g3, and now queen to b6, offering a queen trade. Uh, here, in fact, objectively best was king to d7, but I mean, this is not something you play uh, in pretty much blitz time control. Uh, how do you how, how do you play such a move? Then Magnus would of course go after the king, rook h to e8, d captures on c6, and now even king captures on c6. I don't know if you can imagine anyone playing this. Uh, very, very hard to say. Rook to c1 check, king to d7, and now even rook to d1 check, king to e6, and after let's say knight to d4 check, you will find a safe haven uh, with king to f6, and now the black king is perfectly fine. So you did some, uh, you know, uh, walking around, but uh, doesn't matter. It's uh, perfectly fine. Wesley went for queen to b6, and this does um, uh, give Magnus some ideas. Queen to a8 with check, king to d7, and now queen to a4. Uh, queen to a3 would have been a little bit uh, better, as it prevents uh, um, Wesley from offering some trades with queen to b5, but luckily for Magnus, Wesley doesn't play it. He plays pawn to f6. He really wants to take away this e5 square from the knight, and Magnus goes pawn to d5. Interestingly, pawn to e5 also works uh, in, in the sense that after, let's say, rook h to e8, you have to play queen to c2, go after queen to f5, and now after king to c8, you will still play queen to f5, check king to b8, and now get this very, very strong pass pawn. Let's say rook captures on e1, knight captures, and okay, black is up the exchange, but it is white who will be pushing for the win here. Uh, instead, Magnus went for pawn to d5, and now we have king to c8, pawn to e5. Uh, the idea being, of course, that Magnus really wants to put his knight on e5 to control the d7 square. So king to b8, now you don't have to worry about queen to a8, and now just e captures on f6. Magnus creates a passed pawn here, c captures on d5, and pawn to f7. And uh, now you have to be incredibly precise. Rook h to f8 is the move you want to play. Uh, Wesley, however, played queen to f6, and now Magnus just jumps in with knight to e5. And here, rook h to f8, but now the position is, uh, well, the position is very weird, but there is one move uh, that uh, sort of ranks um, uh, above all others that Magnus can play here. So feel free to pause the video and try to find this absolutely uh, uh, great move for white while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on not going for the uh, for, for the material with knight to d7 with check. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is indeed rook to e3. And now look at the scary uh, reality. Rook to e3 is coming and then queen to a8 will be checkmate. Or that is what Magnus is hoping for. For those of you who thought about knight to d7 check, it's it's fine. Uh, although it will not yield a, a full point. Rook captures on d7, queen captures. And after queen captures on f7, you will have to trade here and then just king to f1 and okay you could argue that maybe white has a, a, a bit more of an active king but still it's equal material two pawn islands each i mean not not much to look forward to here with rook to e3 now the uh, it's uh, you know definitely being played for three results here uh, rook captures on f7 wesley has to uh, get rid of this passed pawn now comes rook to a3 threatening mate in one so pawn to c6 freeing up the c7 square for the black king and now queen to a7 with check king to c7 and now rook to b3 you might even play uh, knight captures on f7 first and then rook to b3 uh but uh, magnus decided against it. for example rook to b then pawn to a4 and it's very hard that black will uh, get out of this uh, instead he went rook to b3 right away we have rook to b8 uh, the, the reason why this uh, the, the previous one could be a little bit better is because maybe queen captures on f2 is an option here like objectively white is winning but still uh, for example rook captures on f2 king captures on f2 you still uh, have some work to do uh, black does have five pawns your g pawn is doubled so uh, you know in, in in blitz time control you will uh, not uh, have all the time in the world to figure out a way on how to win this so this was probably wesley's best hope uh, but he wanted to hang on to everything he played rook to b8 and now comes rook to f3 we can even throw this one in slow motion there we have it rook to f3 and there is no move here for wesley you have to capture the knight or you could even play queen captures on f3 probably even better knight captures and then try to hold this with two rooks 
Uh, but Wesley is not interested in playing silly positions. You know, if he lost, he lost. He doesn't want to uh, mess around. Queen captures on e5. Rook captures on f7 with check. Now comes king to d8 as the queen covers the rook on b8. But now it's merely a matter of a single check. Now rook to f8 check was played. And he was in this position on move 33 that Wesley so resigned to the game. As there is nothing more to be done here. Once you move the king, of course, the rook on b8 will be captured. And you are now down a full rook. Of course, completely unplayable. Even after some like queen to e1 check king to h2 there are no checks the f2 pawn is covered by the queen so i mean they don't really care about that but you are getting checkmated uh fairly soon you know so it doesn't really matter so uh, after rook to f8 magnus grabs uh, his first uh, point in the tournament he did lose the first game in classical so now even though he uh, got a draw uh, in classical time format, uh, he did get a win against Wesley in, in Armageddon. So at least, uh, you know, he he uh, he got it going for himself. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this first game that we are showing from round two. I can already see that another very interesting game has finished while I was recording this. So, you know, uh, expected that one next. Uh, it was also a wild one. Uh, so, you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Marcus Grabel, uh, Buntiak Pang, uh, Revision Reptiles YouTube, uh, Michal Sakarias and David Gasparian for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon, continuing the coverage of this wonderful tournament uh, until it finishes. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.